Yeah, well, obviously a pretty incredible atmosphere Friday night. You guys got down 2 nothing yesterday. You know, what would you tell your team going into the third set and just the way they were able to battle back and, and win a game like that? Yeah, it was starting on the second set, and just we got off to a really hot start, and I think we were up. I was just watching a video this morning, 8-2 or something like that, and uh, they have an opposite that has a serve that I don't think there's anybody in the country like it, so it's hard to replicate. And she rattled off 10 straight points, and I thought just that rattled us. And we just talked about, hey, one player can't affect the rest of our game. And we slowly started to get back there in the second. And then the third, and I've been saying it all year, just this team has no quit. They just fight. And they find ways. And it's one of the things, even in losses, that I hear people talking about that they respect. It's just even when we're down four or five, we're still going to play the same way. And that's what we've talked about since day one of when I got here. Uh, that attitude is more important than the wins and losses. So I think it was stay true to that and figure out who it is that you're as a competitor. Don't let number four rattle you. Uh, and we slowly got back to that point. And uh, that was the messaging. And then I said it afterwards. I got to give a lot of credit to our 6-2 that came in. And uh, Margo and Atal came in and turned that match, in my opinion. Any other questions for Coach? Oh, I got to throw this one out here then. Uh, you brought up atmosphere. I'll give my statement. Just uh, that there's nothing like the 12th man. And I know I come in here and I say it and I say it over and over again. But uh, when I had a vision for what this program could be, it would be a place where people cared about our sport, that cared about the school, that cared about the colors, that cared about the logo that's on our chest. And um, I was expecting that to come probably three or four years in. Uh, and I was expecting volleyball not to necessarily turn the corner as quickly as we have too. But just the amount of support that this school shows, I am eternally grateful. Uh, I thought it was one of the most amazing atmospheres I've ever played in. And uh, it's including some Olympics. Um, and just, again, a, a lot of gratitude. But uh, uh, I'll give credit to the people that helped support it also, just uh, our marketing department, um, Sam, who's not here. Uh, but I'm just eternally grateful for what we had. We'll go third row on the right side to Richard. No, it's been less than 24 hours, but how, how has your team handled the back-to-back -back physical SEC matches, yeah. and how nice is it to have a, a somewhat of a bye week, only one match this week, immediately following your first two games in the league? Uh, yeah, I, I think the whole season's a grind also, uh, and I think that there was some fatigue, and I think it's hard when you go Friday, Sunday, and you have, I don't know, a physical – and mental drain that happens and how do you recharge the batteries on Saturday and get ready for another team and um, we gave the girls two days off and uh, I think an interesting article I was just listening to G talk to it's just I don't think anybody who talks about the human element of the fact that uh, I don't know our athletes compete Friday Sunday and then their off day they wake up at 8 a.m. and go to school today and uh, that piece is hard so uh, we give them the two days off um, and really excited to give that to them get them a chance to recharge get their legs underneath of them and get back to work on Wednesday We'll go back behind the lights on the left side to Morgan. Just in the thick of SEC play, how do you like where your team is at? Also, just bouncing back after the Texas loss and be able to get that win. Yeah, that Sunday. win was huge. And I think if you look around the league right now, it's going to be absolute bedlam. Uh, and you have, I don't know, teams that were at the bottom of the table last year that are all of a sudden taking the teams at the top to five. And uh, Auburn beat. Uh, Kentucky the other night and then Kentucky goes off and beats Florida and uh, I, I, I don't even know if Texas might be undefeated might be the only one there might be somebody else in there um, but I just think every win is going to and I've, I've told the team as we started SEC play like it's going to be clawing scratching trying to get every win that we possibly can and uh, for me like that's why the turnaround and the rebound was huge but also the disappointment and I think we're good enough to beat Texas that uh, I think we're good enough to take that third or fourth set and send that match to five. Uh, and then you never know what happens. And um, I think that's what the entire season is going to be, regardless of who you're playing. Um, and again, really, really happy that we got that win on Sunday. We'll stay on that left side of TV road to Donna. Coach, just looking ahead, uh, what kind of challenges does Auburn present? And then how do you prepare for a three-game stretch on the road like that yeah. where you're you know, traveling quite a bit? Yeah, uh, logistics is the second question. Just making sure that our girls know what's going on and when it's going on and when we're leaving and when they have school and taking care of the pieces of when we're when we're away. Uh, the first question on Auburn, um, I, I literally just started watching some video on them right now. Uh, they added a couple pieces. I, I think they have a freshman outside that's doing pretty well from what I've seen. Um, but I haven't watched enough to fully get in there and kind of know those things. So if anybody wants to reach out midweek, uh, I'll probably have more information on that later on today or tomorrow. We'll go third row on the left side to Luke. 
yesterday you touched you touched a bit on the depth that the team has, kind of how that was kind of central to the victory yesterday. How important do you see that depth being as conference play goes on and as y'all, especially on this road trip as well? Uh, I think huge. I, I think everyone's not going to have their night every single night to have somebody on, I don't know, behind you that can back you up. And uh, I know a lot of players see that as a negative, but uh, I've talked to people on the beach side of things where there's no substitute, where if you're having a bad day, like there's no reprieve from that to be able to get away from it. And uh, to have some people behind you that can back you up when it isn't your day is really, really important. So uh, I, I think that's huge. I think it's a piece of, again, why we're winning. Different people are coming in at different times. I said it from the beginning of the year, and it'll continue to be a big piece of our team.